The gunning down of two police officers at the Sukuta traffic lights Tuesday night by an unknown assailant was the main topic of discussion at the National Assembly on Wednesday. NAMS cited national concern urging the government to act fast to tighten the security situation and avoid a repeat of the unfortunate situation. Others argued that this is the first time security officers are openly gunned down in such a manner, illustrating the deteriorating security situation in the New Gambia. The two police officers who were gunned down while on duty at the Sukuta Jabang traffic lights included one Sangje Gomez and Pate Jalo. The third victim of the unknown assailant is Nancy Jalo, who is currently hospitalized at the Ndemban Clinic in Bakao. Parliamentarians took a minute of silence for the fallen men in uniform as police launched a nationwide manhunt for the suitor. Deputies then proceeded with the day's session, engaging His Excellency, the Vice President Mohamed Jallo, with questions on national development matters. The NAM for Sami constituency, Al Fuseni Sise, explained that Sami Surawakunda catchments find it difficult to access health centers and schools due to poor road networks caused by erosion and asked the Vice President if his office is aware of the problem. We are aware that erosion has caused damages to the road and the National Disaster Management Agency had dispatched a team from the National Road Authority to survey the site. The team has done a design and prepared a bill of quantity for a culvert that needs to be installed. A contractor has been identified and work will begin soon. The deputy for Serekunda Musa Cham asked the vice president to update the assembly on government's poverty alleviation program for citizens and as well clarify the contractor conducting the dragging of water canals that flow from Abuko to the Kutu stream. That the government of the Gambia on its macroeconomic program is monitoring poverty reduction spending on a quarterly and annual basis. I wish to report that in 2021, the total spending on poverty alleviated, alleviation related programs stood at $6.4 billion and rose to $10.4 billion by the end of 2022 fiscal year, representing a 59% growth. Similarly, there are ongoing efforts by a government to register the most vulnerable households in the country in order to develop a framework for targeted social protection interventions. Vice President Jalo further outlined strides achieved in the poverty alleviation program designed to lift vulnerable Gambians out of poverty. NAMS also wanted to know more about impact of the social protection program and criteria used to identify beneficiaries. The Minister for Communication and Digital Economy, Usman Ba, was next on the podium, where he faced questions on the high cost of internet and data and plans in place for the Gambia to have second and third cable. Minister Ba responded that his ministry is aware of the issue and is working to solve the problem. He was followed by the Minister for Basic and Secondary Education, who was asked by the Deputy for Fony Councillor Almame Jiba to explain why teachers one by six payment were delayed only to be paid after the Tobaski feast. The failure for the one by six ad advance payment to have reached the accounts of these teachers was not the fault of the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education. All we had to do, we did, and uh, the information was forwarded to the relevant authority to effect the payment. For the Birkama North Nam, the degradation of three forest parks around Birkama are worrying. He asked the Environment Minister to inform the Assembly about plans to ensure the protection and preservation of the National Forest Park. The Ministry is indeed aware of the deplorable state of the three forest parks in Quexons, which we are gazetted in 1952. At the moment, on the activities being implemented to get this situation corrected, several measures are in place for the protection and preservation of the parks, including prevention, control of indiscriminate night dumping in the forest park, which is not in line with usual forest maintenance through the persistent cleaning of the dump sites in the forest with the help of some of the environmental groups 
and concerned citizens. Sittings continue with more cabinet ministers facing deputies in the correction time engaging cabinet on critical national issues. For the news, I am Aisatujata Gassama.